Welcome everybody, it is Retro Yuki with the 1.06 build update preview for Moonlight House. This this build update should be out by tomorrow night before we do our live stream on Thursday for VR chat. I'll be playing as Luna the Wolf for, to, for Thursday. Speaking of Thursday, take a look at what we got for you guys today. So for today's update, I'm going to give you guys a little look at what we got. Little fly around, uh, fly around the house. As you can see, I started looking at into neon lighting. So as you guys can see, I started looking into neon lighting. And the only room I have on the board for any type of, of neon lighting is Luna's room right here. The so Luna's room is already with neon lighting, although I might change it up a little bit. Based on what I see fit, you can still you can still turn on her light normally with this red button right here. It's still purple. It's still pink, not purple. That's for a different character. But anyway, yeah, that's what we have for in terms of that. The mirror UI actually has a little bit of a update, and it's a lot better. Right now I'm just um making sure the mirrors and stuff can be reached normally. But for now I'm gonna show you guys what else I have. This button right here allows you to change the skybox right around here. And as you can tell I changed the wood. Something different so that it differentiates the other wall. So let's go ahead and take a look at it in VR chat. And I'm gonna have two shadies again because I did fix a little bit of the sitting down um stuff. So let's take a look at that in VR chat. Again, I'm gonna be using two VR chat instances. Both of them have the same character, that being shady. So as you guys can see on the garden area, if you look on your left. You're gonna see that we have four chairs in the Crimson Rose Garden. And as you can see, if you go on the right, we have Shady sitting down. It's a lot better than last time, I'll tell you now. So as you can see, he's sitting down. Go to the other one. Not too bad. Positioning can work. He's a little work. I think that's way better than floating in the air. Let's check a look at the other seat. Not bad right there. That's not bad. And if we go back here. Yep. Yeah, not too bad. Now let's see inside. I think I still need to fix the inside. If we go inside with one. I'm gonna turn on the light on the on the right side. It is a local variable. And yeah, I still need to fix this one, but it's way better out outside. I'm gonna fix this one for sure. If we go back to one, the light or our local variable, keep that in mind. You will see what's over here with Luna's room. So the light actually works. It's just that I still need to work on them a little bit more. But neon lighting is actually not the main uh, main stuff for the update. It's more of the fix of the mirror UI, as you can see. Now it's just in the phone. Check the mirror there. The hitbox is not that bad. I don't think it's that bad. I think I fixed it. Let's check the bed. And it still needs a little work with the bed, but I think that's a lot. The other outside, again, I'm going to copy and paste from the outside. Now let's go ahead and change the skybox. Go ahead and change the skybox by using this button over here. Now keep in mind, 
The skybox change is a local variable. You can actually do it globally, however, due to I don't want to start changing skyboxes for every for everybody yet. Because not everybody's gonna have the, the like the same skybox. So if with Shady One I decided to change the skybox now, skybox if you click it goes to this. On one, on two, it's the regular night sky. If I change it on two, and again, uh, one more. There we go. There's another one right there. So on two, it changes. On one, it doesn't change automatically because it's not global. It's not a sync variable. It's a local variable, meaning only, only for one. In order to get to that skybox, you have to do another clicky. Two clicks in this case. Then anything else I have, you not. I will let you guys go back to the night sky one another time. So that should be the same one. No, it's. Uh, There we go. Now it's the same one, just that it's in different variable. Now keep in mind that um, this might be this can be your if you dis if you do decide to play role play in here, you can actually change skybox of any time you want just by clicking this button. Just keep in mind that if you're gonna use the same skybox, make sure you let your players your group know that this is not a global variable this is a local variable and that they need to change it to the correct one before the for your session role play so let's say for this one we're going to have i'm just going to use the characters that i'm using let's say i'm um, luna the wolf and francis the wolf are outside having a nice let's say sunset dinner in the Crimson Rose Garden. That's never gonna happen, by the way. That can't happen anyway, because I play both, and Crimson Rose is a major rival for Francis the Wolf, so, yeah. Anyway, we're having a mid nice midnight dinner, whatever, skybox, yeah, okay, end of story. So you can actually do that now with the sky skybox changer. If, however, if you guys like this feature, I may change it to have custom skyboxes based on the Avengers or LA, whatever. I'm just trying out this feature to see if you guys like it. But the main, the main things for sure for this update, pairs are getting fixed. Pairs are getting fixed, like as you can see here, like that. Then of course, neon lighting being added, albeit in a testing phase. If I find a free asset, I will use it just to save me some work. But as you can see, there is a little bit of neon lighting in the work. And then of course, mirror UI has been approved a little bit more. It's now in the phone mostly. And the skybox changer. And no matter what the skybox changer is going to say, the next one I'm going to try to add before I actually like um do the build, like give you the build officially on tomorrow. I'm going to try this. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to try to add an animated door. Like if you enter a trigger zone, the door is going to open for the entrance, so like here. So the trigger zone might be, if you're looking on the right side, right, be right here. And then the door will open for you. And then you can do whatever you want in here. But that's an optional feature that I'm working on. Oh, and also, one other thing that has been fixed. I forgot about this one from last time. 
I probably showed you guys this, but you guys are going to like this. The cupcakes have been fixed. So you should see Shady 2 holding, I mean, yeah, Shady 2 hold Shady 1 holding the cupcake to Shady 2. The only thing that's different is the light. Now Shady 1, Shady 2 is going to hold cupcake. And you guys can see it, it now works. And now keep in mind if you, if I accidentally put this on loud test, you can actually steal the cupcake. If you collide to another, and I didn't, for, I forgot to put in disabled um, collision, you can steal the cupcake that way too. But there will be another table here to put the cupcake. Okay, so cupcake fix. There's gonna be fixed again, and there you are. A lot better. All right, that's gonna do it for today's update. We'll see you guys when we have another one, and our next build update, our next build upload, will either be tomorrow or Thursday morning. If it is tomorrow, we will not, we still not have a stream because it's Wednesday. If it's on Thursday, we will have a stream. Because it's Thursday VR chat. Alright, I am Retro Yuki, and this is the build update 1.06. Our next major build is going to feature, it's mostly going to feature two new rooms plus a pool. That's right, we're going to add a pool here. That's going to be the next major build, which is 2.0. Okay. We'll see you guys soon. Enjoy.